Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to Final F F F Fantasy 3. <laughs> oh boy, man, it's hot in my room right now. Uh, I don't know why it's so hot in here. I guess because it's starting to warm up outside, but I gotta get some very better ventilation in here because I definitely don't want anything overheating while I'm recording. But yeah, I hope everybody's doing good today. Uh, remember on the last episode? It was a long one when we went through the Tower of Owen. And that whirlpool that was blocking the channel there is now open. And I got on the boat, but... Oh, did it, um... I guess it restored all our things. Alright, so let's go ahead and go through here. There's one thing I want to do first, because I know we can re... Well... Whoa, look at this, everybody. A big sea dragon. Let's fuck him up. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead and use arrow. And you use thunder. The Ingus boy, he just punches the dragon. He don't give a dang. Uh, sorry if I uh, curse a little too much. I'll try not to curse at all, but sometimes I like to use those word enhancers. <sighs> <laughs> My videos are not marked for children, by the way, so if you are a child watching, well, don't copy me. I'm a bad influence. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, we got some levels. Did that, um... Oh, we obtained an Arctic one. I wonder, does... Well, I guess it doesn't. I guess it's all about job levels, uh, getting extra spell charges. We are in the wide open sea, boys and girls. Whee! Got to go around here. Can we get in that? Or is that our village from the start? I have no idea where I'm at. I mean, I know where we're supposed to go. Hey, that is where we started. You know, something really weird, when I hear Angus punch sometimes, I think he's... Okay, we're going back. <clears throat> oh, what I was going to say is when Angus attacks, sometimes it sounds like his his fists are, like, missing. And he still gets, like, eight hits. Let's go ahead and go to where we're supposed to go. Yeah. You know, I think at this point... I think... This game's encounter rate is way too freaking high. Jeez, man, I can't even... Okay, let's go sailing and see what's beyond here. Oh. Let's go exploring. Oh, we've ran around here, haven't we? Didn't we run around all this? What was the point of that opening up? Boy, I have wasted a lot of time, haven't I? Oh, hey, look! We found a cave. Let's see what it is. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's go in the cave. Molten cave. Oh, hold on. Molten cave? We can't do anything. Is this where the fire crystal is? Man, we'll have to check that out later. Hey, there's another cave. Hey, we found it! Finally, the dwarf's hollow! Boy, blindly playing through games is fun, isn't it? Oh, it sucks we don't have a follower anymore like Dish. Lolly ho! We're a bit little, but we're been big, big trouble! Okay, well, I wonder what's going on. Lolly ho, humans! Welcome to the Dwarven Hollows. Okay. This is where I th believe Dish said we needed to come. What's up, Moogle? Oh, we got a new one from Topapa, the children of Ur. Recently, the children have started to play farther and farther away from Ur. While I praise their adventurous spirit, I worry it will lead them to trouble. 
Yeah, probably so. It's kind of dangerous out there. How I met Miss Sid. The first time I met Miss Sid, she was a passenger on my airship. It was love at first sight. Or flight. Get it? <laughs> ah. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That's Sid. Oh, boy. Put out some real knee slappers. We put a ward around the shrine. No one can get close. We'll defend the last horn. Horn? Gusko, the rogue, he stole a horn. Smart he is, but a rascal too. Anything? You know me, I like to look for clues. The two horns made of ice. There are treasure... Er, yeah, there are treasure. Our pr our I can't do a smeagol. Our precious. One of them was plundered and pilfered, stolen by a scoundrel. It must be found. Okay, well, we'll go in those little rooms in a minute. Warriors of Light, did you ever know that out to sea, far, far to the east, is a peninsula with a village called Gasol? Oh, no, I didn't. So the far, far east, Gasol. I'll we'll have to remember that. First, I think we need to help these old dwarves out. What's up, dude? There was a shiny tower to the north. After the earthquake, it was gone. But there's a big hole where it was. Oh. What? That rascal Gusko's made off with the Horn of Ice. He made his gateway through the underground lake. We can't go after him because dwarves can't swim. But if you're humans, humans can swim. You must aid us with your amphibious abilities. Oh, well, we gotta turn into a frog again? Okay. Dang, I'm just trying to look. What's down here? Stop! The Dwarven Treasury is up ahead. All non doors are forbidden to enter. Okay. I mean, what if I go down there? What's gonna happen to me? Nothing. <laughs> Why does it tell me to drink? That's probably where I gotta go, huh? I don't know. Let's keep exploring. Uh, we got these rooms here. Let's see what's up. These dwarves don't leave nothing laying around, do they? Look at this guy. Let's zoom in. Look at him. <laughs> oh, it's weaker. Um, That's better defense for Luneth, so let's get it. Definitely could use the, uh, Ice Helm. Oh, I don't need the shield. I don't use shields. Uh, I'm gonna cut this out, but I'm gonna sell some stuff real quick. Okay, I'm back. Let's keep going on. Anything? Anything? This must be the magic... Ah, uh, this is a weapon. What am I talking about? Some swords in that crate. Um. So it's the tire thing. What does this do? Or dual arc and dual wield staffs. Um. What's this do? A diamond bell. Who can hold that? Is that a weapon for another job class? Attack 42. I'm gonna get this. Interesting. What sword is that? No. A tear thing. I wonder what that looks like. What the way do we get in battle? I think at this point for Ingus, his fist his fist will do more damage than um anything else, uh, any weapons the monk could have. Oh, man. Oh, wait. High potions? Let's see. I want to get four of those. Get four of those. We got plenty of those. Maiden kiss removes toad. No, we don't need that. So we got the toad spell. We got that. Shrinks and unshrinks targets. Eye drops. We got plenty of those. Okay, we're good. 
Oh yeah, let's stay real quick and then we'll talk to that old guy. I need to recharge all our spell cast anyways. Well, the dwarves are in trouble. They lost a horn, but I'm not really sure where we gotta go. Maybe this old guy knows something. Cause he's the last person in here to talk to. Let me give you a brief description of your jobs. Warriors are weapons experts. Their advanced abilities allow them to deal even more damage than normal, but they also get hit a lot harder. Monks are very resilient melee fighters. Their, or their retaliation ability allows them to counterattack while on the defense. <coughs> White mages are casters who specialize in restorative, restorative magic. They're not physically strong, but their willpower is incomparable. Black majors are casters who specialize in offensive magic. Despite their appearance, they can take a few hits. Okay, I didn't even know that. Far, far to the east. You know what? We might do that before... Um, <clears throat> we do this main quest for the, the uh, doors here. Who's the dude that told me where he went? Um, is it him? Guess so. Must have known the doors can't swim. There's no good or take back at the missing horn of ice. No, I don't want to talk to you again. Oh my gosh! Stop talking. Yeah, so I guess we have to go down here, and we'll have to uh, toad up. Yeah. But, uh... What's back here? I never know. This must be the only ground lake we have to get into. So I can think. But we'll do that on the next episode. Um... Uh, yeah, this one's been going on long enough. So, um... This is a good stopping point. So we know what we need to do. We need to help the doors get the Horn of Ice back from Gusco. Uh... But before we do that... Uh, before we start, when we come back to the next episode, I'm going to, uh, have us by the boat. We're going to travel to the far, far east of this Gasol village of Gasol. Because, uh, Gasol reminds me of Chocobos. Well, I just want to see what all what that's all about. But, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time for some more Final Fantasy III. Later.